Bregman. And there's the bell. These two men staring each other down so intently. Slater issuing a motion of good sportsmanship here. <laughs> and Red Wing. Isn't goofing around. No. Red Wing is ready to fight here tonight. Red Wing's been out Red Wing for a is, while with an injury. Red Wing's a real intimidating figure. And you got to think that maybe the soldier of Surge might have bitten off a little bit more than he can chew here tonight. I think that's a fair assumption for anyone who steps in the ring with Red Wing. J.C. Slater, of course, in the red trunks, Red Wing the Barbarian in the fur. Both men standing tall. You know, there's really no size advantage in here. Not really, no. no. The lock up again. Red Wing overpowers J.C. Slater, sending him into the corner. But a quick break there. Either of these men would be an absolutely fantastic addition to our already stacked Piggy in the Bank ladder match, which will take place at our next show, May 19th, right here at the Ralston Arena side room. That's absolutely right. May 19th, Ralston Arena side room. An insane concept, an incredibly original concept as well. Suspended above the ring, a piggy bank inside that piggy bank, a contract the winner gets a guaranteed title shot anytime, anywhere. Nothing like it in pro wrestling is, that I know of. Nope, there sure isn't. J.C. Slater trying to use that speed to his advantage and it doesn't seem to take Red, Red Wing, Wing not down. not an easy man to take down. Oh! And Red Wing showing some speed of his own as he forces Slater to the mat with that shoulder Red tackle. Red Wing showing Slater how shoulders are done there. Big scoop slam. Oh, and a big a leg, leg drop. drop there. Slater not quite ready to give it up. No, not quite. No. Both men know how important this opportunity is how important the Piggy in the Bank ladder match is. J.C. Slater, a former winner of the Piggy in the Bank ladder match. He is indeed. And although he did not win on his contract cash-in, I believe, he used well, that in order to protect. That's because his contract was stolen. Yeah, no, 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 no. His title was stolen. His, his contract was too. The I don't Piggy recall and that. His contract were stolen. I don't recall that at all. Red Wing calling for the crowd to get around him. Slater delivering a swift boot to the face to Red Wing there. And another one. He might have found the method to keep Red Wing a little dazed. Oh my. JC Slater showing some impressive strength. Slamming Red Wing down to the match, and right here it proves it doesn't matter how big you are, how strong you are, you get hit in the head a few times, you're gonna do something stupid. All right, like my uncle in Reno, Nevada. Oh. Red Wing nearly taken out. Referee Mace as he throws Slater through the air, breaking that pin. Red Wing looks to catch his breath as Slater brings it to his feet. Interesting fact about Slater time, not withholding to Daylight Savings time. Slater seems pretty confident he's getting the job done here. And that overconfidence, that arrogance of J.C. Slater will probably be his undoing here tonight. You know, well, you've got to think, it was not that long ago that Slater didn't have much in the way of confidence. No. So it's probably a good feeling to have it back. Yeah, you gotta think, once you're able to finally get your mojo back, it, it, it turns things around for you. I mean, I've never been a J.C. Slater fan. I, I, I would admit that right now. He's like moist white bread to me, okay? You gotta roll up. 
Not quite enough. Red Wing seems a little dazed. I'm not sure he was anticipating this kind of fight from Slater. Oh my! Well, I, I don't think Red, I don't think Slater was anticipating that big DDT from Red Wing. I think Slater might be asleep now. Yeah. Now, Red Wing spent some time away from an injury. You got to think maybe the ring rust might have some kind of effect. But the longer this match goes, I only believe that the pace favors Red Wing. Absolutely. All right? Throwing a knee into the spine of Slater and putting a chin lock on him in the middle of the ring. And he's got it cinched in. More damage to that lower back. That's going to make it harder for J.C. Slater to do what J.C. Slater does. All right. Big clubbing blow to the chest. Take away the lung capacity. Take away the ability to keep your breath in a match like this. J.C. Slater kicking out. Dumb move on, in my opinion, but yeah. Red Wing is not an opponent I would want to face, so I would have to agree with you there. You think you step into the ring with someone like Red Wing, it's like fighting a grizzly. You just kind of want to lay down and let it be over, all right? So right now, Red Wing is a very angry bear, and you don't poke the bear. Red Wing working that spot on the spine his knee was just driven into. J.C. Slater trying to fight back, but Red Wing takes him down with a big headbutt. Headbutt from Red Wing there. Slater's got to get some momentum going if he wants to capitalize here today. I don't think he's going to. These men could soon be the winner of a contract, guaranteeing them a shot at the Magnum Pro title. There's I mean, a lot on the line in this matchup right now. It's really anyone's game. I mean, we've got... Who's all in that match? We've got Jeff O'Shea. We've Jeff got Tim O'Shea. Boston. Yep. Donnie Pepper Cricket. Yep. One of these men. One of these Jason guys. Strife. I'm it's, sure I'm forgetting it's someone. It's a stacked matchup. Yeah. And each and every one of those men knows how important that contract is, how it can change careers. All right? I mean, I can remember... Ladder matches upon ladder matches with Jeff O'Shea put on one hell of a show. Any of the competitors in that match could easily walk away with a title shot. Yes, they could. The Red Wing picks him up with a giant spine buster. J.C. Slater felt that all the way in his toes. Each competitor in that ladder match is bringing something very different to the table as well. That's correct. You've got competitors like Superfly, Jeff O'Shea, who have speed. They have speed. They're known for their rope moves. Yeah. Yeah. Then you've got Donnie Pepper Cricket, who isn't necessarily known for speed or being on that rope. But, but a lot more agile than you would think, and he has a... You took the words right out of my mouth. A very vicious competitor. Another kick out by J.C. Slater. Red Wing seems to be at a bit of a loss not understanding what he needs to do to keep the man down. Well, I think I know what he needs to do. I think he needs to hit him some more. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, Brilliant. That's, that's why I make the big bucks here. Come up with that all on your own. Yeah. And Red Wing seemed to take my advice there with another clubbing blow across the back of J.C. Slater. Working that spine, making it harder Hanging for him Slater to stand. Slater up on that second rope. This is not going to be good for Slater. Oh. Oh. J.C. Slater was in position, and Red Wing just took him from behind. Uh -oh. oh! Slater so quick, so resourceful, moving out of the way. And now, J.C. Slater looks to capitalize. Oh, my. Huge lung blower. Nice move there by J.C. Slater. And there's a cover. <laughs> but Red Wing's not giving up just no. yet. What's it going to take to put Red Wing away? Do you need some tranquilizer darts? Or you just got to, you know, try and find an objective way to beat him. 
It's Red Wing is a tough competitor. I'm, He's proven it with a stiff shot right across the back of the head. I'm honestly not sure I've ever seen anyone put Red Wing over. Oh, another shoulder up. He is Look. strong. He is tough. He's a little bit mean. And he's just as fast as he is strong and tough, and he, he'll surprise you. Red, Red Wing, a very agile competitor, able to leap over that top rope. Absolutely. I've seen it. Absolutely. We've seen him fly to the base floor below. Exactly. out all of his competitors. And now, stopping a mud Red hole. getting a little frustrated with JC still being so much in this match. He's ready to call it tonight. Is this the end of the Retro Renegade as we know it? Those quick kicks, creating a little distance, but I don't think that's enough. Quick kicks aren't gonna get you very far with them. Absolutely not. In fact, all you'll probably do is aggravate them and make your problem worse. Like we said, you don't poke the bear, all right? You just, you find a way to outsmart the bear and then you take it down. Red Wing. Jason Slater in the corner, Red Wing looking uh -oh. to charge. Red Wing jumps, a big splash. The big man does fly. Jason Slater fights back Slater with a Slater answers. splash. Another splash, big headbutts. And headbutts are such risky moves because you do as much damage to yourself as you do to your opponent. Definitely. You just got to hope that the risk pays off. Red Wing's done, Red Wing's frustrated. Red Wing is ready to end this. I'd say so. Calling upon his ancestors, the Barbarian is ready to charge. Oh! But J.C. Slater explodes out of the corner. With a big boot right to the chin of Red Wing. And, and another. there's another one for good measure. I Slater seems to be Red setting him up. Later slam. It's not enough. Thought he had it there for a second. I thought he had it. That would have been the upset of the, of the year so far. These two men are putting it all on the line here tonight. And Slater, Slater looks like going he's going up. The crowd's asking him to go up. Heading to the high rent district. Will it pay off or will he crash and burn? Uh-oh, took a little bit too long. You can't take that long when you're facing a foe like Red Wing. And Red Wing makes him pay for it. Oh, wow. Huge leg lariat. And that's it. What? How? How did J.C. Slater kick out of that one? I'm oh surprised God. as well as you are. <laughs> that just goes to show what this piggy in the bank ladder match means to these competitors. Absolutely. JC Slater, a former Magnum Pro champion, would love to add that title to his resume again. Red Wing the Barbarian, also a former champion, defeated by WWE superstar Carlito. Uh -oh. No shame in that. Slater using that brain of his, that noggin, And now, he looks to lift the big man up. What is he? No. Or at least elevate him. Oh, no! Big swinging neck breaker. That's gotta be it. We gotta be done now, come on. No! And Red Wing gets the shoulder up. These two men are absolutely beating the heck out of each other here tonight. We got a, got a very divided crowd here. <laughs> but of course, the Slater section filled with preteen girls and boys coming alive with their voices because puberty has not taken that away from them yet. Can't even tell them apart. It's really difficult sometimes, you know? Slater with another big slam. But Red Wing. Not ready to be done. Not Red ready Wing to give up yet. Shoulder up again. Oh, 
It seems like even the fans aren't quite certain. No one's quite sure. But referee Mason. Now it looks like Slater might be the one fired up and ready to end this thing. Slater has the fans on his side right now. Can he channel that energy to put Red Wing away? He's gonna have to do more than throw his face into a turnbuckle for that to happen. And you can see the wear and tear this match is taking on J.C. Slater. He's almost been knocked out of his boots, for Christ's sake. Uh-oh! Big spear with Red Wing. He has woken the beast. The beast has been unleashed for sure. And I think this is the end of J.C. Slater. Uh-oh. The Renegade looking lifeless. Red Wing signaling for the end. Oh my God. And thanks for coming, J.C. Slater. Folks, I'm in absolute shock here. What is going on? What? What's going on is J.C. Slater's... I that was it. J.C. Slater has a damn death wish. That's what's going oh, on oh. here. I'm gonna have to agree with you there. This says a lot about the fighting tenacity that J.C. Slater has coursed it through his veins, though. Uh-oh. Oh. Slater death drop right there. Slater struggling to get up to capitalize on his motion. He needs to get up and get that pin. And you gotta wonder at this point, can Slater rely on that? Moves like that is no good if you don't get the pin in. Can Slater wear down Red Wing to hit that gut wrench suplex as he goes to the top? To the top rope again. Will this bode better for J.C. Slater? Big time elbow. And it's this not over yet. This is a never ending matchup here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Neither J.C. Slater nor Red Wing the Barbarian giving each other any ground. No, absolutely not. This match isn't going to end until one of them goes through the damn ring. Slater the first to his feet, but as we all know, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. It does, but if Slater doesn't capitalize, Red Wing has more time to catch his breath. But he looks to be in trouble here. Uh oh. What the hell is that? The music of. Scars from his and Duke Cornell's battle obviously still present. Oh. J.C. Slater is distracted. J.C. Slater is upset. Uh-oh. Oh, no. And Red Wing looks to take advantage. Oh! Clinton J.C. Slater to the mat. You can count to a thousand. It's over. Red Wing the Barbarian, victorious here tonight. But you gotta put a little asterisk next to that victory. Absolutely. A Without great... that distraction from, I don't know, Duke Cornell, I'm going to assume it was his entrance video. Exactly, you would assume. J.C. Slater still letting the animosity between him and Duke Cornell. We can only hope that this is not the last time we see these men square off. No way. And Magnum Pro. But here we have it, we have added Red Wing to our already stacked Piggy in the Bank ladder matchup. It's absolutely incredible. 
May 19th is going to be one hell of a show. That's, <laughs> it's going to be brutal. Not quite sure Red Wing likes how he got that win either, but you got to do what you got to do. That was one hell of a match from both of these men. A show of respect. They both left it all out there. They both put all the fight they had in them. However, Red Wing coming up with just a bit of an upper hand. Yeah. An upper hand by the likes of Duke Cornell, perhaps. Dookie. <laughs> 